I know when it comes to making music, there's not a right way or a wrong way to make your music. But what if I told you there was five things that you need to get rid of to make your music better? Would you like the video? And I've been noticing a lot of comments here and there, DMs, emails. A lot of people have been having a lot of problems, so I decided to make a video for you. And I've also had conversations with artists in real life about these five. So now that I got the trash artists out of the way, the artists that don't want to get better, I just need you to subscribe to the channel and stick with me to the end. The first thing that you need to get rid of is not being able to finish songs. I know, I know, I get it. You're different. You can finish your songs. This is not for you. There's a lot of people out there that struggle to finish songs. Because every time I turn around, a person's like, yo, I'm gonna be an artist if I could finish my songs. I keep getting stuck on the hook. I don't know what to write the verse about. I keep rapping about the same thing, so I never wanna finish the song. I keep having the same melodies. I don't wanna finish the song. The crazy thing is about not being able to finish songs, artists do it to themselves. They're worried about the preset. They're like, yo, my preset isn't like Drake's. My preset isn't like Future. My preset isn't like this engineer. How could you know people would even like your mix or their preset if you never dropped the song? People be like, yo, I don't know if my flow's on point, my melody's on point, or my beat selection's on point, so I don't want to finish the song. How are you ever going to know unless you finish the song and put the song out? A lot of artists got to finish the song to at least build the confidence of being able to finish song. What I need you to do from this point moving forward, even if you get stuck, finish the song. When it comes to the second thing that you need to get rid of, some people are probably going to feel some type of way, but I got to say, worrying about the quality of studio gear. That's not going to help you. That's not going to help you become a better artist. Every time you go to record, you're like, man, if I had a better microphone, my music would sound better. If I had a better interface, if I had better plugins, if I had a different DAW, if I just had better sound treatment, you either have to figure out a way to save your money, get more money, um, sacrifice on getting new shoes and going out to eat all the time or just doing certain things right if you want to be able to improve your quality because if you're not gonna sacrifice to improve your quality don't worry about it learn how to get the most out of what you have i get it you're gonna be like but sky you got an apollo twin you got a macbook m1 you got thousands of dollars worth of microphone but i gotta let you in on a little secret when i first got into music i didn't have the best shit and i said all of that to say this i didn't let the lack of gear or quality of gear hold me back from getting better from learning there's people that can use band lab and make amazing music with just a pair of apple headphones because they're creative right you got to be the artist right the artist is the artist because the artist can manipulate the tools like none other right that's what makes us unique learn how to get the most out of the stuff you have now and you'll appreciate when you get more quality things the third thing you need to get rid of when you record music is bad timing I don't know how many times people send me music to check out or people follow me on Instagram and I just go through their music and I just check their music. Fix your timing. When it comes to having timing issues, it's a lot of variables at play. Some people record with the auto tune and it's lagging. Some people record with the wrong buffer size and it causes latency issues. Some people write their legs down and then try to record the song a week later and they can't remember the flow or how they wrote it. But you need to take your time and work on your timing. If you always find out that you're a little late, off beat, fix it, right? If you're a little bit early, fix it. Take your time, don't rush, especially if you're recording yourself at home or you're at your home studio and your friends recording you or something. Take your time. The fourth thing that I need you to get rid of, the lack of energy in your performances. A lot of artists sound like they are reading. There's nothing wrong with sounding like you're reading if the song calls for it or the flow calls for it. But a lot of people are monotone, there's no fluctuations in their voice, or they want the auto-tune to hit a certain way, but they're not even using their voice that way to get the auto-tune to hit that way, okay? So the delivery, right? It's going to make you feel the flow. Certain words are going to connect more the way that you say it. So the energy, the delivery, it all has to be there. Like if it's a hyped-up song, match the energy if that's the energy that you're trying to put in because you can have the best lyrics it could be the best thought out clever punchlines but if you're not saying it with that performance the what's gonna really 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 make it hit no mix no master no preset is gonna be able to fix it so all you have to do as an artist get rid of your bad performances like work on your performances work on your delivery i get it if you're recording in front of people and you want to be cool all the time Guess what? Every song that you record is not going to call for you to be cool. Sometimes you got to get introspective. Sometimes you got to get a little aggressive. Sometimes you got to get a little sad. But 
get rid of your bad performances. And the last thing that I need you to get rid of when you record music is right here, all right? Unless you have your music, like your lyrics written down on this phone, you need to get rid of it. Way too many artists spend too much time on Instagram Live. Like they're in the studio taking pictures like, yo, I'm in the studio I'm working. Oh yeah, 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 look at the gear, look at the gear, look at the gear. Like, oh yeah, bro, we're going crazy, we're going crazy. It's too much of that going on in the studio. Artists gotta understand, the studio is your workplace. That's where you're going to do work, right? After you get done working, yeah, take the pictures, go live, talk to the fans, show people what you're doing, show people that you're working. But this is the biggest distraction, all right? <laughs> like, this right here, put this shit on do not disturb. At the end of the day, the people that you're just flexing for, showing up for, they're going to start to wonder, why are you always showing yourself in the studio and you never have music to show for it?